hello you guys and welcome to another video i am here getting ready to plant some flowers and vegetables for the summer um and i will be showing you exactly what we're gonna use um and also the process that we're gonna do it with so here we go all right so we have here our project that we usually do every year with my daughter i do this um so we have some soil we have some flowers we have some ah uh, Ah, we have some puppy. We have a puppy here. Okay. Stay away. <laughs> uh, we have some plant food. And I'm going to show you everything that I have. Hold on. Because, all right, so she has a separate. So I got to keep it separate because um, some of them, they don't, they need more time than others. All right, so these are like over 100 days to bloom. And these are um, like between 50 and 59 and 65, you know. So these, we don't plant them now, but these, we're going to start them early. That way we can have like all summer with flowers. So that being said, so we usually start it inside the house and then we go and plant them outside for the summer. Um, and we water them and we take care of them. We germinate them. So I'll, we'll show you the whole process. We'll show you like everything. All right. So we have here the seed starting tree. Okay. And we have our seeds here that we're going to plant. Now I have many more, which I'm going to use later on, uh, because these are, um, 20 to 28 days to harvest, uh, 60 days to harvest. So anything um, under 80, at the most 80, um, I'm not doing right now. So these are my Johnny Jump Up, okay? I have my Blanket Flower, uh, Bell Flower, Carnation, the Theonium, Cucumber, Onions, Peppers, and Zucchini, all right? I also made some tags, so when I put them in there, um, it will be tagged. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some soil and we're going to put it in this pot. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna transfer the soil over here, but I'm gonna wet it first, so that way the water doesn't go under it. I'm gonna do it with my hand, because I don't have a tool to wet it really good, so. <laughs> That's what we're doing. All right, guys, so I have my uh, tray prepared. Um, I didn't fill it all the way up because I need to put the seeds and then I'm gonna put a little bit more soil on top of it. And the way that I'm gonna plant it, I have nine of them. So I fill nine uh, different lines and I'm gonna do the cucumbers and zucchini on opposite ends because they do spiral a little bit. So I am going to start with the zucchini. For the zucchini, all the vegetables I am going to do three seeds on each um, just because in case one die at least I have another one uh, actually on the zucchini I'm only gonna do two on each because they're kind of big seeds right. and I am going to put the tag here that way I don't lose it what I'm putting now I'm gonna do the cucumber. All right, the cucumbers, I can actually put three seeds because they're kind of small. And there's a lot in a, in a package. And I am going to put my stick on the first one. And then I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna start with the flowers here. So I'm gonna do the, uh, delphinium. Uh, the delphiniums, I am going to do just, you know, a little bit on, I sprinkle a little bit on each. Uh, it doesn't matter really. They're very tiny. Uh, in case some die, then at least I have, I guess there's some more there left. Okay, and that's the delphinium. Now we have the Johnny Jump Up. And like I said, they're tiny, tiny seeds. Let me 
sure I don't go overboard on this one. Okay. That is the Johnny Jump Up. Okay. And so on and so forth. I'm going to continue doing this. Then I'm going to put some soil. So I'm going to do on those that I did already. So you guys can see. And I will be back with you guys for the rest. All right, so we already put some soil. Let's recap what we did. So we put some soil, we put the seeds, and then we put more soil on top. Now, um, instead of like watering directly on top of it, again, uh, what I'm going to do, what I like to do is I like to put the water on the bottom part of it, on the base. Um, I feel like it doesn't disturb the sea as much, so it will be like a better idea to do it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the tray so it doesn't rip on me. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to cover it and put it by the window. And I'll show you guys what that setup looks like. All right, so I already put it in the table that I have next to the window. I also put my blinds down this way so the light will hit it directly when the sun comes up. Um, I also put the date that it was planted on. That way I can keep track of what day um, germination they have. So that's how you plant indoor and how to take care of it. We'll just keep watching and we'll show you the process. Can I just do one small fry, please? That would be it. Oh. Alright, you guys, so for lunch, I have some eggs, avocado, and some salt and vinegar, sea salt and vinegar chips. It is so good. I was skeptical a little bit, but turns out really good it's a little bit of crunch not a lot of carbs pretty good all right you guys so what an exciting day so i have let me see about six hours of sleep <laughs> went to work just finished the video uh well part of the video i still have to record a few more parts and then um i should start getting ready to edit it um that is the video that is coming soon to you so don't miss it please um it's gonna be really funny i have a really good friend of mine um helping me out and he's just funny <laughs> so it's gonna be really good um also i'm having my nutrition i have been without my aligners today's day five i've been without it for about an hour uh, because I was doing the video and then I had to go home and now I'm having dinner and then I'm going to put it on and that'll be it. I won't be taking it out until tomorrow again for breakfast. So that's a good thing. So far, my teeth are great. Uh, they didn't hurt today. I guess day five is a sign that it's loose. It's, it did its job. So I'm going to keep it on until I have to replace it in two days. And then I'll catch you guys up on that and let you know exactly how things are going, okay? All right, you guys. So I am cleaning my aligners. Um, I've been having it for about three minutes. I'm going to take them out, rinse them out, um, and put it back on. Uh, I do recommend you getting the cleaning mints for the aligners because they have like a, as much as you try. And believe me, I have tried to not use this because I only have four. Um, as much as you try, you're going to need at least one per aligner to clean it because after a few days, they have like a, I don't know if you ever, like if you ever own a fish tank, it smells like the fish tank water, <laughs> literally. <laughs> That's what it smells like. That's what it reminds me of. So yeah, you, you're going to need these. I'm going to order some uh, so that I can have it and use it when I need to clean my aligners because I don't like that smell at all. 
I mean, I, it just kind of hit me today. So I was like, you know what? It's time to clean it. I know it's only like two days from now to change it. But I don't think that it's going to be two days with me and that smell. That's not going to work. So anyways, guys, yeah, get that. So I just finished recording one of the last part of the video for February 14th and look at the mess guys. <laughs> Anybody want to help me organize? I'm waiting. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was a blast. I had a really fun day today uh, recording the videos. Um, I already cleaned the mess that I had, so no big deal. Um, guys thank you all so much for watching please don't forget to share this video along with any other video that i post from here until the 12th so you can enter the giveaway and please don't forget to subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you the next time bye